even as Supreme Court has slated Monday, 24th of October for the case of uh, Namde Kano, you know that uh, Malami has dragged Namde Kano to Supreme Court because he doesn't want to obey the appeal court's ruling. And I don't even know how they are going to judge that because it's been said that the first verdict must be obeyed before you can even continue with whatever. But their own con their own concern and their own argument is that if they release the Namde Kano, that is going to run away from this country. And <laughs> that is neither here nor there. The law must be obeyed. And since uh, the, this thing has been slated for Monday, the case has been slated for Monday by the Supreme Court on Monday. There's this insinuation that uh, Buhari has left the country because he does not want to be in 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 the country while the court's case is going on. <laughs> to me, uh, it's neither here nor there. Whether he's here or not, whether he lives or not, the truth must prevail. Namdi Kano must be released. That is just the way it is. Because they have a tactics of doing some kind of things. Whether it was a coincidence or whatever. But as we speak now, Buhari has left the country for... Where where did he go? North Korea. <laughs> yes, so he's always traveling. What he goes there to do, you don't even know. Namdi Kano is... Kano's case uh, with the Supreme Court is on Monday. And it's jetting out today, Sunday. Uh, you know, these people, they are something else. They are something else. This Buhari is never truthful. All these statements he has been making, oh, he wants to make Nigeria great. Of course, we can see it, that he was lying to Nigerians when he was contesting to become president. But see the way he has turned Nigeria to be. The man that was crying when people believed that uh, he meant well. Ah, I have never seen this kind of person. Well, the former governor of Anambra State, Ezife, is telling us that uh, uh, Buhari is a blessing because with what has happened, if he had not come on board, people would have thought that he would have done better. But with this uh, Namde Kano's case, uh, you know that uh, Buhari, we are able to say it, is an hypocrite. Yes, it's hypocrite because you can't tell us that people came to tell you, use political means to release this man. You say, no, you don't want to interfere with the court case, let the courts decide what uh, they feel that is the best because all the allegations are, you know, were before them. And the people who went to beg him just went back. Now that the man has been released, the same court he was talking about has released the man. They are speaking another English. They are speaking another English. I have never seen how somebody can be so weak. This is wickedness, honestly. I don't really understand. So wicked. Now, he has left Abuja on Sunday for CEO South Korea to attend the first uh, World Bell Summit in 2022. At the end of the day, what did they want to bring? Nothing, no. Whether you understand uh, what is happening there, it's a different ball game entirely. He's going there, whether he's going to bring success to Nigeria, he does not even care. You know that uh, most of these, they are traveling. You know, it goes with allowances. And uh -huh, you know how much he's going to be paying. Is going to be paid, and much how much Nigeria is even wasting on this uh, fruitless efforts for fruitless uh, journey. You are traveling, you have a lot of cases on your neck, you have a lot of troubles. You see that uh, the presidency from the corner of Bashar Ahmed mocking Peter B for donating what he, know he donated, but Buhari has never said anything. One word he didn't say, even as a not even what anybody is going to write for him. He should speak from his heart, not even what a, a official letter being written for him to read out. He, that, that one said he has not even done it, not to talk of the one he's going to say from his own heart, but he's getting us to North Korea to go and do what, what he does not even understand. All of this is all about money because this whole thing is not going to yield positive results anyhow, anyway, in any way to Nigerians, not at all, not at all. So we are in 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 a big uh, <laughs> in a in a big in, in a big mess. Of course, it's going the the mess is going down gradually. Nigerians are, are counting down. Nigerians are counting down so that uh, these people will just carry their cargo. But unfortunately, they still want to install somebody who is going to be more brutal than him. That's it. That is exactly 
the concern of many Nigerians. Even as Nigerians would think they are counting that Nigerians are not still having rest of mind because they are bringing another person who says he's going to continue from where he stops. Who is going to stop from where continue from where he stops? So how do we how do we justify this? How do we go about this? How do we maneuver this whole thing? It is so 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 uh so dangerous. And that's why you see some people they are so pained. It's not because of anything. They are so pained that how can we continue with this suffering? And some people are okay by that. And unfortunately, when the Casalago boss, they are the ones that was, they will see complain. Not as if they are going to provide any solution. They are still going to complain too. So if you support them or you don't support them, whatever that comes out of it, you are going to be a particular of it. And that's why some people are saying, no, don't let us go through that route. Nothing will save you from heading to ICC. If you like, run to Mecca because you have committed a lot of crime against humanity, including disobedience of court order. A fear of Namde Kano because of court case on Monday. Yes, Namde Kano is a great man. Because of Namde Kano is going to uh, Namde Kano is going to Supreme Court on Monday. Hmm. Well, <laughs> some people are saying a uh, uh, glorious uh, departure. Nice sabi, nice sabi, nice sabi. Ah, just that uh, the way God works uh, is different from the way we think. Oh, honestly, is different, different, differently different from uh, from the way we think. You know, somebody is somewhere suffering, and somebody is somewhere enjoying, and somebody who is enjoying has caused pain to somebody who is suffering because of what? Because person is saying the right thing. At times, there uh, are a lot of people who do weep within them. A lot of people do weep. See, what is all this? Hmm. hmm. Oh, wow. Now, wow. The one that is even painful is that is going out every now and then has not even yielded positive results. They've been talking about uh, Germany and Siemens, uh, uh, this electricity and what have you. The one that uh, the late Abakiari started. See, today, we are just hearing that they will talk about it. Nothing, nothing has come out. From that, nothing we have we have not seen anything, and if we go to you went to the UN. UN the only thing I can, I remember that he said or that he brought back from UN. He didn't even bring anything back because the only thing I could hear him say is that hey, we should be forgiving of our debt. You are borrowing money. You don't want to pay back. I am. I'm sure nobody is going to be listening to him now. They don't even have money to spend for 2023 budgets they want to be selling the assets in the country whether that is even going to be enough for them because i don't think that will be enough for them to even run the budgets nobody's ready to borrow nobody's ready to borrow them money and somebody's telling nigerians that if you want to stop borrowing then you have to stop uh, using mercedes-benz and lasers and people are like are these guys are they normal are they okay like uh, mr macaroni used to ask are you normal so Buhari can go to anywhere he deems fit to, but justice must prevail. So guys, let us hear your opinion on this.